Thank you so much, Chris. We are definitely looking at some cooler temperatures now that our cold front has passed through. We'll get more into your details on the forecast in a moment, but it is camp day, so we got to check in with Kevin on location in Oakville. Back inside, back inside of the studio. <laughs> I love how we put him to work, and if you, that doesn't get your attention, the singing and the chanting, uh, then you're just not paying attention. Let's take a look at our systems here. We have a lot of unsettled weather for Atlantic Canada over the next many days. Rain, rain, rain. Uh, we're setting up actually for a really nice weekend, although by the beginning part of next week, we'll have another low pressure system coming in that will bring us some wet weather. Also want to mention that later today, although not in Toronto, but later today in the southwest of the province there will be some showers toward Windsor, Chatham, maybe London Way. So if your travel plans take you there, expect some rain. Looking at our seven day forecast for Thank you very much, Chris. And now that the cold front has passed through, our temperatures do feel a lot colder than they were earlier this week. A great excuse to get a hot coffee. Kasha didn't need an excuse though. There you go. Thank you so much, Kasha. And a lot of people here at the Weather Network walk around with those Tim Hortons cups, no question. And you might want some to uh, warm you up across Atlantic Canada as well, because we do have a lot of rain. It's very unsettled for the next many days. The weekend here shaping up pretty well. We do have a low pressure system to our south by the early part of next week. Also some showers in southwestern Ontario today. So if your travel plans take you there, just be mindful of rain. For Thank you very much, Kim. I don't know about you, but I just need to start my day off with a coffee. And I just have to have one. Although today, you might want to make an exception have a couple. <laughs> Let's go to Kevin at Camp Day. All for a good cause. That's all for a good cause. Thank you so much, Kevin. I'll make that three coffees, and then you'll be singing and dancing like they are. A great cause, nonetheless. Let's take a look at our weather here. We have rain continuing. It's very unsettled in the east for the next few days, right through uh, most of the weekend actually not looking all that sunny for the east, but look at for us, look what happens. Saturday, Sunday, bright and sunny, temperatures rising, humidex readings in the mid-twenties, we'll take it, lots of sun. Thank you so much, Chris. So two questions for you. First, did you see storms? And secondly, were you happy to see them? Because we have now seen a, quite a drop in the temperatures behind our cold front. And for some, that where did we see storms? But for those, obviously, who did, uh, some very strong winds coming through at the time. Let's turn it over to Kevin now that the temperatures are cooler. It's perfect for a cup of coffee, isn't it? And we are definitely seeing a cooler air mass behind our low as it departs, and even cooler yet tomorrow. So let's take a look at our short term low 11, not entirely clear. We do have our low pressure systems merging in the east, so lots of unsettled weather there. For us, though, largely this weekend is looking to be really wonderful with bright skies and a low pressure system to ourselves. We'll see whether or not that skirts up into southern Ontario. At this point, it stays low, uh, south of the lower lakes, but something that could change in the computer models. And also today, the risk of some showers to the southwest of us, down toward uh, Chatham, Windsor, so if you're going that way. In terms of the weekend, look at that. Saturday, Sunday, bright skies, humidex readings in the mid-20s, looking glorious for whatever it is that you have planned outside. And then Hamilton, we have the same kind of thing going on for the weekend. <laughs> it is a fun word to say. Thank you very much, Chris. Always a good time when Chris gets out the camera here in the studios. Okay, let's take a look at what's going on with our weather. And it is camp day after all. You don't need an excuse to have a coffee today. It is a beat. Thanks so much, Kasha. Looking at our weather, it is going to be a great weekend setting up. The temperatures, yes, a little bit cooler for the next couple of days, but slowly climbing back up into, well, mid-twenties is what it's going to feel like with lots of sunshine this weekend overall nice and then our new low comes in south of the lower lakes at this point so we'll just watch to see whether or not we see any differences in the track of that low by later next week or the early part of next week but at this point it looks like a dry forecast high and dry temperatures going up 23s for saturday and sunday with some cloud on monday Today on The Morning Show, if you missed it, it's Tim Horton's Camp Day. Kevin Yard was on location, and Kevin, what was your favorite part about Camp Day? My favorite part was the singing. I mean, incredible songs there. Woke up Wednesday morning, and then went to the store. Took a lot of cup of coffee, and then I bought some more. All the coffee proceeds will send a kid to camp. So buy a cup of coffee and send a kid to camp. 
Also today on The Morning Show, if you missed it, wicked thunderstorms and possible tornadoes tore through Nebraska. Hailstones the size of grapefruits. We'll have all of that. And join us again tomorrow morning where Tom's Traffic will get you where you need to go. And Kevin, you're going to be in... Barrie, Ontario. We'll catch you then. <laughs> this one